Hello there, I'm Tina the Thankful Planner. Welcome back to my subscribers and if you're new to my channel then thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing all of my 2020 planners. I think I've got them all here. I tried to gather them up. I, ha I did give a couple away so I can't review those but the ones that I still have I'm going to review them. I'm going to tell you what I thought of them and um, some of these planners may work for you. They just didn't work for me and um, how I like to plan. So I'm just going to take you through them all. And so if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. Okay, well, I think I'm going to start with the smaller planners. And so let me just grab them. I'm going to bring them in. <coughs> So these are my sort of the smaller ones that I've I've used in 20 in 2020. And let's look at this one. Oh, maybe we'll look at this one first. Let's look at this one. OK, so um, I do have a, um, a setup of this um, so I can put them in the cards. And this one is a file of facts. And it is from I found this planner while doing a clear out of some Oh, some of my office space I think it was I can't remember I can't remember where I found it but but I found it and um, it's back it's from 20 um, 2009 so 2009 as you can see I kept the um, I kept the original and um, some of the information in there just to remind me this has uh, specific memories for me so this planner for me was very special so I didn't want to throw it out I was excited that I found it um, but as you can see, I didn't actually use it at all. I loved all these little, um, these little what you call Dutch doors. Love this printable. That, um, and if you're into like really small planners, um, then this would work. But I've discovered definitely this year that I am not into small planners. They don't work for me. And I never really, really planned. I mean, look, isn't it cute? I never really planned to use it. I liked some of the, like this printable offline research, you know, I, I really liked it. And uh, you've got a little to-do list, but I never planned on, on adding it to my lineup. It was just really that I wanted to make it look pretty because I wasn't going to chuck it out. Like, as I said, I've had it since 2009. Um, the, the emotional attachment to this is that this was the planner that when we first came over to Canada, to Canada, to Canada, for interviews and um, when we first emigrated here um, this was the planner that we brought with us we had all our important information in here and then when we finally did emigrate we used it when we were buying hat when i buying a house i would use it for all of my notes for people's business cards i've got since got rid of that but there was a um there's a, a bit here for biz, for business cards and then I had another section that you could slip them in plastic section. So it has a lot of emotional attachment. So although it was part of one of my setup videos that I've done, I never really planned to use that in my lineup. So um, if you like small, small planners, I'm sure it'll work for you. It wouldn't work for me. OK, moving quickly on the mini happy planner. So for me, this worked to begin with. So it worked for what I needed it for. And it was really a planner that I could take backwards and forwards um, to work. So I've got my, I got a classic happy planner for home. And I thought I could put just sort of my appointments, track my, um, track my timesheets, things like that. And, um, and use this for just backwards and forwards to work. And it did actually work. And also I tracked my spending in there, my no spending. And that was just not me, not like family spending with shopping and stuff like that. This was me spending. I wanted to track it in here. And when I didn't spend, I give myself, excuse me, I gave myself one of those stickers. When I did spend, I just wrote down how much I spent and what it was on. So I filled in the spreads. They worked fine. I filled them in all the way through, you know, right up to October. One of the things that I had difficulty with was the space. Now, I do not write small, you know, I'm, I'm putting appointments in here and I found it really difficult to track, you know, because it's just there's just not enough space to put stuff. And so 
I could have not put any decoration in there, but that's not my planning style. I like, it has to look pretty for me to look at it. And there's not enough room um, to do that. So I come to, and this I ended up just writing lists. And um, as, I, as I went through the year, I decided that um, I needed to make a change. I wanted it to continue to work for me because I'd actually Franken planned it. Let me find the other planner that I, so, so this one and this one, I put them together and I used parts of this one in here. And that's why it's now on these huge rings because um, like those, those were the original rings, but I needed bigger rings to, run, to put it on. And um, I ended up, as, it, as I say, I ended up not really using it, you know, like it became a chore when I started using it again. So I continue to fill it in because I don't like any blank spaces in my planner. So I continue to do the weekly. I continue to film me doing the weekly. And um, I did get some pleasure out of just decorating. But as a planner, it wasn't hugely successful. And then I um, moved into, this is a system that I work with for getting things done. And you'll see some videos on my channel about getting things done. And um, it's sort of something that it's supposed to make your life easier and um, get you to reach more goals, um, you know, just complete tasks and be more productive. And I found that, so I thought, okay, so I'm going to use that. But what actually happened, like, so there's my inbox, which is um, what you call like a brain dump. But what I found again with that was I wasn't using these action items. I wasn't using it with that because it's too small. I couldn't really write in it. Then I started tracking my blood pressure in there. And um, I tried. It just, there just wasn't enough space. I really liked the weekly spreads. But again, let's see, I didn't use the, the getting things done there. I did use it for my project goals. So here we go. Yeah, let's see. It wasn't really. And although I continued to fill in the weekly spreads, as you can see, because I hate blanks, the weekly and the monthly, it just ended up that I just ended up sort of starting to scribble in it because it wasn't working. So by October, I was I knew it wasn't working and I was looking for something that would um, that I could use that would work for me better. So I won't be using um, one of these, a mini happy planner in my 2021 lineup. And although they work for some people, as I said, if you're, if you like a little bit of space, um, that was no good for me. Okay, so um, the final one in this um, smaller section is my B6TN, which is a traveler's notebook. Now this one I started in October and this was to replace the, um, the mini happy planner. And for me so far, well, I've only used it for three months and it's actually working quite well. So this, uh, what I love about it is that I can really freestyle, I can do my own thing. So you've got these sort of inserts, what you're calling inserts, you know, and um, like this one is from Simply Gilded and they're empty, they come just like with dot, the dot grid on it, this one. And so, you, but you can sort of customize them then to be whatever you want them to be. So this one for me was my online shopping tracker. And um, that's very useful. It's very, very useful. I'm just gonna put this back in. And um, so I've got my Christmas planner and in that it also has the, um, at the front here we've got calendar, so November. December and then there's a, a track day countdown thing you've got gift you know a gift section and I'm not going to show you any of that because someone who's watching might see what their gift is <laughs> and um, yeah and so organizing dinners and stuff like that and then this one so I do still like to plan I do still enjoy this decorative planning so this is a memory spread as well so I'm going to be continuing to do this I really like this that it's a lot shorter I have to do it differently to the classic planner but it just stretches me a little bit and um, you know lets me sometimes I use up you know stickers that I've got I like to use those up where are we in this one yeah this starts in um, yeah, 23rd to the 29th of November. So you print these out. These are printables again from um, Jacinia Printables. 
So they come like this, you just print them out and then you use them for however long they are. And then I just take this out and I add a new clean one. So Jacinia, Jacinia printables, yeah. So very useful, I like them. I'm enjoying planning it so far as a memory planner. So I will be keeping going with this, definitely. And then we have this one, which is a bit of a memory plan actually. It's just a smaller version of my larger uh, big big happy planner memory plan so I just enjoyed that I liked sort of cutting up paper and had a little bit of fun with it that was for Thanksgiving and this is a bible study I've got in here and this one is the one that I use the most of it is just a scribble thing <laughs> I have it sitting next to me on my desk when I'm at work here in the office um, I write a list of the things that I'm going to do um, normally the night before I'll start or the day before, not the night before, but you know, when I finish work, um, I normally write a list of what I've got to do the next day. And in the morning when I come into the office, I then write some other tasks that I have to do. And then I just work through it. And as I'm doing stuff, if I add any more things to that, then I'll, sorry, I'm just gonna bring you in a bit. If I add anything more to that, then um, I will just put it on the list as I've done it. The bottom section, as you can see, is, um, I've put these flags in every one because this actually helps me pre-plan. So I write down, um, I look at the day, what I've done in that day, and um, I write, then I write a ple a pre-plan for when I'm filming. So this helps me to pull the stickers I need and uh, know what, what part of that day I'm actually gonna put in my memory planner. So very useful. So this is coming with me into 2021. This cover isn't, I do have a new cover for it, which I'll show you in my 2021 lineup. So that's the, um, that's the smaller planners. Let me see, now I'm gonna go into, ooh, let me see. Okay, let's go into this one first. <clears throat> okay, I didn't know whether I was gonna bring this in or not, but I think I should because I did plan with it for um, a few months, so. I was extremely excited to get an Erin Condren planner. I found 45% on their website, 45% off. There was a discount. Um, it was back in, when did I start it? I think it was May, wasn't it? A deal, they had a deal on, no, it's April. April was it? Yeah, I think it was April. Oh, no, no, it was May. So um, because obviously it had been out for a few months and um, they were trying to get rid of it, so I decided to get this. And this I used for, it was purely social media. I actually really loved it. It really, really worked well for me. Um, as you can see, like tracking subscribers. And I just started last year. I only, just, I only started my YouTube channel last year. So this was really useful. I had ideas, you know, um, I was at, doing some Etsy stuff, tracking my monthly. So you can see I used it nonstop. It was very helpful. I liked it. Um, I wasn't overdoing the amount of stickers I was using, just enough to keep me interested and um, keep it fun for me. And um, yeah, I, I just, I found it very, very useful. And then here back in, when was it? Mm, yeah, I think it was July. Back in, I can't remember the date, but um, Aaron Condren, I made a decision after Aaron Condren had done something publicly. Um, it's in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement and um, it really didn't sit well with me what she did. So I made a decision that I didn't want her brand on my channel anymore. So I said no to this and it was really hard because it was working great for me. But um, that's when I went into a bit of a, a planner spiral actually, a down spiral in my planning. I really felt at a loss. I wanted to find something that would replace, let me just move these boxes and that. Um, I wanted to find something that would replace that, but I struggled to find something. And this is when I came across the plum paper planner. So this is the second plum paper planner I had. So I, I ordered one and I got it really customized. And then when I started planning with it, um, it didn't work for me. So I, I gifted that to um, a family member actually, I gifted it. And um, I ordered this new one. 
beautiful colours. I love this booklet thing and I just love the thankful planner and these colours on there. And um, it's a really good sort of very minimal. Um, I love these sort of like natural colours, pale greys and, you know, and um, here we go. So I started doing, um, started setting some goals. And so this was the planner that I decided for some reason that I wasn't using it for social media. I don't know why I decided not to, but I decided that I was going to use this just for functional planning. So that would be my, um, that would be my getting things done system. Um, I would take it out of my classic happy planner and I'll show you that in a minute on, on the parts that I do in my classic happy planner and I would move it into a journal all by itself so that I could see and see you've got like schedule so that would be my daily appointments and then under here you have daily tasks and I would take them out of my um, my action items or my project sheets from my classic happy planner and I would put them into here. We've got waiting for, so if you're waiting for something and pri um, priorities for that week and secondaries for that week. So it was really supposed to be a functional. I didn't like the blank pages. So as you can see, I did, I actually created these myself, these stickers. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I just went down that rabbit hole and I couldn't do the plain very plain and then again i continue to use it and um, i was using these these are sticker kits from offline and i tended to use the notes at the end of the week for um, if i had meetings you know we talk about stuff i would make notes in that didn't set any goals didn't use the monthly and then here is the first week here's the second week okay so second week of October again I used a printable and it was working okay for me this was good I was tracking things this then I got bored of using the sticker um, the stickers and just used happy planner stickers from the happy planner books and then um, and these are from simply gilded all of these washi and did I put yeah I did I was still doing the tracking and then again, these what well, I was still doing it. So I was still working with my um, getting things done system and putting it in here. But these started to, like, I didn't find any use for these. And again, I think I've spoken to you before about not liking blank space in my spreads. And I figured out that because this was all work related, I ended up with having this blank weekend here because I didn't want to carry on and this is my day job not my YouTube or anything like that so I didn't want to carry that over onto my weekend and then the notes were blank and then all this was blank and I started to not like that again this is all blank this is all blank and uh, this was a Halloween week I think yeah so as much as I liked the the prettiness of it I just don't look like looking at blank pages and so this got, and it, and it actually got to me even more. So I thought, okay, let's go with a kit. So I got myself a kit. I think that's Everlasting Plans, this kit's from. And tried to track that a bit more. Nothing again in here. And then you go to the first week. And so I was still using it, but I stopped putting sticky boxes in. I just used them as they were. And this I didn't use at all. I just decorated. And that was the end of it. That was the end of my dipping my toe in the plum paper planner. All of these are totally empty. And, um, you know, it was su it's such a shame because it w I'm sure it's a great planner. And I'm not going to get rid of it yet because I've only actually, because this is, this is from January to August. So definitely, definitely could use it. Um, for you know coming up the year coming these I mean I got quite like these in the back here like you get budget you can add these so there's a budget section and then this is a blog section so all about blogging and tracking and then social media there's all of this I'm not going to take a flip through for this because you can go to their website and look at all this stuff but these are all the additions these were the these are my basic kits that I use in there and um, just functional kits these are and as much as I just wanted to do it 
it was not happening. So this became a chore and um, so I had to make the decision. Look, I'm, I do planning because I like planning and also because it helps me get organized. Um, I shouldn't have to keep doing it if I'm not enjoying it and, um, and it's not helping with the organization. This just seemed another step that I didn't need because I already had it in my classic happy planner, the information that I was transferring. So I'm gonna now show you, let's move into, uh, well, I will show you that later actually. I will show you my classic happy planner um, and, how, and how it's changed over. But let's bring in, so on the classic happy planner size, I have three of those. And so let's look at the journaling first of all. So this is a classic happy planner, Teresa Collins journal. And inside you see that there is no journaling done. <laughs> it is all my leftover stickers. And I didn't, I done probably two pages of journaling and that was it. I'm not that type of person that has a whole book for journaling. And it was just like journaling your emotions, your intentions, your moods and all of that. And it was just too much. Again, I liked the look of it. I liked the idea of it. But um, I'm learning a lot about myself and about what I like to do and what I don't like to do. And so for me, I get much more pleasure out of organising my stickers and actual an action actually i think it's the actions that i like so planning making the plan but following through with an action so my plan was to create this as a leftover sticker book and not waste um, the stickers and throw them away and it worked beautifully and um yeah so this is just um silicone coated paper that i got off amazon and i cut it to fit this what i love about this and that is different to the ones that you can buy is like I have bought these um, leftover sticker books, see? And this has got all my scripts in, and they're great, I love them, but the issue with them is like, if I come to a page, let me go, let me find one for you, show you what I mean. Okay, this one, right, so I've done this, I've filled this all in, I've filled it all in that side, oops, pulling it up, filled it all in that side, and then, this is what it was like. So it went on to, to a different style of boxes. And here again, a different style of boxes. So I was able to just grab a blank sheet from the back and pop it in and continue. So it stays organized. So I am not adding that to the back of the book. Um, so that's what I love about this um, this disc system. Or, I mean, you could do it with rings as well, but I just like the disc system because you just pull them off, it's just easy. So this for me is successful as a leftover sticker book, not as a not in my planner lineup as a planner. And so what's next? Okay, this one. So this one, sorry, crashing and banging about. So this one, this one is a wellness tracker. I just, when I saw this, I just fell in love. The cover, the colors, this rose gold, isn't it gorgeous? We had made, me and my husband made specific resolutions to each other for New Year that we were really gonna get fit, really gonna get healthy and um, discussed it. Yep, the best way to do it would be to get a tracker. Let's track it, let's make sure that we are actually, that we're actually doing all that stuff. And um, we didn't, we didn't. We fell off the wagon lots of times and we also never really, I never really got to grips with filling this in. And um, I can tell you straight away probably why. One of the reasons is I do not like orange and green. Not together, I just didn't like it. I don't know why, like I was attracted to the cover. I thought that was great. But when I was looking at the pages, I really didn't like it. I hated this orange, this great big band of orange and the green on the actual pages. Like they're all doing it. So this is like green and I can't even remember what color that was. I know that I changed it, but look. So I don't like the color on the pages like this because um, you're stuck with those colors then. So I started to find it difficult to find stickers that matched. Always want stickers. I want to make it fun. And one of the other issues I had was there in it, I had to put too much information in it. So I found that this, 
I was looking for things to write in here, which I didn't really need to. That's not what planning for me is supposed to make it so my life is easier, not give me more work to do. And I felt like that was work. Intention, right? Had to write an intention every day. Why? I don't want to do that. So I don't want that. This was great. Nourish. Obviously, that's the food you eat. You can write that down. Movement again was great. This again was extra work for me. I was like, oh, felt like homework, you know. OK, so now I've got to find something to say at the end of every day about this. Now, you can say, well, you don't have to. You can leave it blank. But I don't like the look of blank spreads. So for me, I didn't like the look of the blank. Again, look, I've done it here. It's like, OK, what can I put there? And, um, and that was really the feeling of it all along. You know, again, like I'm, I'm starting to put stickers in because I'm like, well, what else can I put there, you know? So it just felt like too much work. So that's why this thing didn't work. I am sure that if you've only got this journal, maybe one other one, um, then it would probably work great for you. Or even if you're just using this, then you can um, use this section down here to put your other daily appointments in that. So if this was the only... A planner that you had I'm sure this would work great but for me it was just too much extra work and unfortunately that is dated so I'm not sure I might give it to one of my um, my granddaughters just to play around with you know mm. we'll see I never chuck these things away because they always come useful you know the discs and the Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to, um, where are we? Where are we? Okay, so Classic Happy Planner, the last one in the Classic Happy Planner I'm going to show you. And the most successful one for me is my catch-all Classic Happy Planner. I've been using these since 2018, I believe my first one was. Um, and I tend to just, I always complete them. I'm pretty good on that. So I'm not going to say that that's going to happen in 2021. But I do believe it will. I mean, this one, I mean, look at this. Like, look how thick it is, man. Like, this is just crazy. It's just crazy, the thickness. Can I, can I focus you a little bit? Mm -mm, let's go that way. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus you in a bit. No, it's not going to let me. Oops, oops, there we go. Okay, so that's, let me show you back to this one to show you how it's thick it normally is. <laughs> so that was how thick it was when I bought it. And um, I haven't added, I've got a couple of extra things in the back, but nothing huge. This is mainly just stickers. So I love this. I love being able to thri flilla, flick through. And you can see like I use it. I track, um, I've got here, I've got birthdays, holidays and local events. I like to track that sort of stuff. And um yeah, I was do tracking my cleaning and then I didn't really track that. I don't normally use this bit, um, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I always fill in my notes. I do my monthlies. At the beginning of the year, I was trying to figure out what I was going to use my monthlies for. Um, but as you'll see later on, excuse me, later on in the year, I decide, I don't know how later. Let me see if I do it in February. No, about March. Okay, so by March, I've already decided what I'm going to use it for, uh, the monthlies. But these always work. I never have trouble filling these in. Um, it's tracking daily stuff, so I can like make notes about things. I love planning with it. I was using, at the beginning, I was only using um, Happy Planner stickers. As you can see, these are all Happy Planner stickers and um, they always come out really well. I love flipping through this and I'll do a proper um, flip through of this planner on my channel. But um, I do all sorts and look, so like it's busting with goodies in there. And so my monthly spreads, let me show you one so you can see. So my monthly spreads, actually this is one that I created myself, um, this sticker kit. So my monthly spreads are to track my budget so I take it out of my um, paycheck by work, paycheck by workbook. Um, I take it out of there and just my outgoings and I put them in the monthly so I know when things are going to be coming out of my account and when I have to pay for stuff. So that's what that tracks. And then I began to get into, I'm trying to see when was the first sort of sticker kit. I think back here and then I just fell in love with it and I started just using them all the time. Um, yeah, so sometimes, like this was a, 
a present. Um, the butterflies were a present, so I want to do use them. And then again, this was a present from my granddaughters, this kit, so try to incorporate that. So really, this is the one that I use. I never have any issues with this kit, uh, with this planner. I love it. It's not too much for me. I um, When I started out, I was pre-planning in it. It was a pre-planner. And then as COVID hit, um, I changed over to using it as a memory planner. And I've been using it as a memory planner ever since. And I think that's what I'm going to keep this for going forwards to my 2021. Um, it seems much better. I have a whole new pre-planning system that I'm going to be implementing. Oh, I didn't show you the back. So my, um, my getting things done system, which I struggled to work with in my mini happy planner. Um, what I did in the end, I got so fed up with trying to make it work with printables and that from them. Then I made my own printable. So if you're interested in this, you can get this off my Etsy store, which is listed down below. And so I just made myself, uh, and I do, I've got different designs for this. This is the minimal one. And I've got, I've written out a cheat sheet. Now you can read his book, David Allen, The Getting Things Done System, who wrote, wrote that system. There is a book you can read um, to learn how to do it. And um, you have to take away what you need. So I don't implement the whole system because it's quite a big system. Um, I just use what I need to use. And so hit the, my classic happy planet is great for that. So I've got a few notes to keep me on track, you know, on, on how to implement the system. And if I want to make some notes in the front. And then I have these sections that I created, brain dump. And so that's where I put all my brain dumps, action items. This is where I put my action items, my projects, just list of projects I've got going right now. And then the project sheets themselves. And they're all printables. It all comes in a kit. So... You know, and then I've got the someday maybe, which I don't have a section for because I haven't really used it that much. You know, like someday maybe is um, someday maybe I might do that. So I haven't used that anyway. So this really fits in everything I need. I can even like with this system, I can even I've got this little cheat sheet at the back here as well that gives me like a list of when I'm trying to do the bank, the brain dump once a month. They call it a RAM dump, but it's a brain dump. So when I do it every month, um, I can run through this list of things and see. And I mean, it's got really specific things like what is on your desk, what is in your drawer. So to get the information out of your head and to get it on paper. And then this is really cute. This little sticky notes thing kept in there. This was a little thing I was doing about YouTube and um, just some of the things I've made myself. I've got a book list going on there. And so you can do that with a happy planner. You can add your own sections. So that's what I love. I love the happy planner. I'm not going to change that. Um, I've got one in my 2021 lineup, which I'm going to do another video on that. And so finally, I have the... No, it's not finally, actually. I've got a few more to go as yet. <laughs> We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the big happy planner so the big happy planner this is actually a memory book so it's more for scrapbooking it's so pretty isn't it look <laughs> and it's something where I've really enjoyed this um, so scrapbooking I started this um, in January so I started at the beginning of the year and it's just like really cool events in the family you know my daughter my newest granddaughter when she was born we got pictures, um, my mum coming from England. Now, what was that one? Oh, that was church one day. That was really cool. Um, went to Chianti's, which is a restaurant in town. And then we went and watched a friend of mine's son. It's just really cool, um, different sorts of things that were happening in my life. And so this is more photo spread, writing notes, talking about things. That's me with the crazy hair. <laughs> And just, and when I didn't have a lot to say, I'd done this. This was a really good idea, you know. And, um, yeah, just, just sort of family things going on. So I'll continue to do this. And the joy of this thing is that it is not dated. I've dated this myself. So I only got as far as March. So I'm going to continue to use this. I'm actually going to just keep gathering memories. 
I think it's really good that it's undated. And so I don't feel like I have to, have to do it. It's there if I want to do something creative, something a little bit scrapbooky, and um, I can use that. So that's sticking with me. I'm, I'm keeping that. That is obviously the big, big happy planner and all of their stickers work. And you can buy separate stickers, but I tend to just use all my stickers, you know, for the classic and everything else. So this is a planner. So it's in my lineup. Well, it's a workbook, but it is a budget planner. Budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mum. So if you don't know who she is, I would check out her YouTube channel before going ahead and buying a, um, you know, a budget system. Watch loads of, watch a load of her videos you know, listen to her story. And then if you're interested, then go for it. I actually got the digital version of her, um, of her workbook, because for me, again, it's saving money. So I can print it out every year. It's undated. So I can print it out every year. Um, I can use it every year. And all I done was bought a kit of, um, classic happy planner, rainbow classic happy planner discs. Um, yeah, they are the classic happy planner size, aren't they? Yeah. So the rainbow discs, and this, you know, if, you, if you're not great at budgeting or if you're okay at it, but you want to get better at it, if you want to save, if you want to pay off your mortgage, those sorts of things, this is a really great way to sit down and actually work through it. Um, me and my husband, we do it together. We sit down together. You make a plan, you know, book like every, if you get paid every two weeks, it's paycheck to paycheck. So if you get paid every two weeks, then book to sit down. I'd rather not do it on a Sunday like we used to do it on a Sunday, but now we've moved it to Monday because I want to keep my weekends for, I class this as work budgeting it's not great i'm not a fan of it but you've got to do it you know but actually i'm enjoying it much more the more you get control of your money the more you see where your money's going and then you're building up savings like we've built up an emergency fund we've got savings now we never had it really really does work i've got to say if you're looking for a system budget by paycheck workbook and she's a mum she was a single mum doing it all on her own you know um so supporting women like that is really good okay so that is that is the budget by paycheck workbook and my final one is my a5 binder so i never thought i'd get into an a5 binder it's not um i was never a fan of them i never looked at them and went oh i like that but i was looking for a menu planner a recipe um somewhere to store recipes new recipes I was looking for something like that. I really couldn't find anything I wanted. And then my husband actually saw this in Michael's when we were in there and it was half price. It was $12 and um, it came with all of these, um, these sort of things inside. It isn't actually a memory planner. It's just a planner. But what I decided to do was um, I covered up the, oh, here we go. It's like, so this is September. So I covered all of these up. I cut these off and covered those up I, I cut the top ones off of them ones but here so I just covered them up with stickers I made myself a key or a legend whatever you want to call it and um yeah so it's all gonna I love that feed me food and tell me I'm pretty I love that <laughs> and so we've got the recipe meal planner different sections um I haven't I started to do the meal plan but that's my first one I need to do it again look I mean I didn't I want I wasn't consistent with that and that's something that we're going to be putting down in our 2021 um, goals is for me to actually meal plan shopping lists and then I just divided up some meals some new meals that I tried out and come out really well I put them in here now so I've got to add a moussaka which I made the other night which come out lovely these are really cool chimichangas <laughs> First time we've we've had chimichangas and they are delicious. So we'll be doing them quite a lot. And yeah, lamb. I put the put the thing in for lamb, but I've got to put the moussaka in, which I made. So so that all worked out really well. It's um it's new, so I don't know how successful it's going to be. So I can't give you a this has been great throughout the year. I've only just started it. So but for me, it's working and it'll be coming into 2021. So that is actually it. That is all of the planners that I can show you. Some of the other ones I gave away. So but they're the ones. That's the review. Remember, these are only my thoughts and how I plan and how I work. 
um, they weren't, you know, they just didn't work for me. That's not to say that these things aren't going to work for you. So it depends on how you plan. It depends on what you like, whether you like functional, just writing it down or whether you like to be creative. I definitely have a creative bend and I need to see pretty things in my planner. So, OK, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your support. Um, if you're and you can click on the notifications and that will tell you when I'm uploading videos I also am over on Instagram at the thankful planner and would love to connect with you over there if you have any comments tell me about your planners or what you've used this year and what was successful and what wasn't and if I haven't put anything in the lineup that you've used I'd love to hear about it so drop some comments down below and enjoy the rest of your day thanks bye bye